Hello friends, welcome to Unity 3D Teacher Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to fetch a JSON from any server URL. Uh, so we are going to fetch the JSON file and you, got, you are going to load in here Unity C. So let's see how to do that. First of all, we want to fetch a JSON. So we will have one sample JSON or URL. Okay. Uh, so let's go to the browser and then we will have the url okay so this is a sample url which we are going to fetch okay so to fetch that you want to create a some uh, class so i'm just creating a json fetcher class so this json fletcher we can drag and drop in any game object where uh, you like to have so i'm just dragging and dropping in uh, main camera you can drag and drop anywhere where you like to have it's your choice okay uh, so once the script is loaded we are going to start coding how can we fetch that and store in a separate class and then we can use anywhere we use or reuse anywhere in our project so that is a plan of that uh, today tutorial okay so the script is loaded now now what we are going to do is we are going to create one string string url json url the location from where we want to fetch okay json url equal to So this URL how can we fetch is first of all we want to we want to have Unity engine .networking. since we are working with web request Unity engine dot networking which will to use that components Unity engine dot networking namespace okay we have that now so first of all I need to have one I enumerator uh which going to fetch json value okay so this json value have uh, components which we can use so using unity web request which is fetching from unity networking namespace okay request equal to unity web request dot get okay so this get is going to fetch that json url and then inside that we are going to pass the yield return time yield return request dot request dot send web request so it will wait until sending the web request after that if the request is either succeed or not we want to see if request dot result dot request dot result is not equal to unity web request dot result dot success so we are just checking that whether uh, the result is success or not if not success then there must be in some error for example it's failed to fetch okay so we will see that for example this is the exact url so i'm just giving something which is wired url okay so we will see that what is the log uh, we are getting in here so once you play okay i'm sorry it should need to be fetched from the start of unity life cycle so i'm just fetching start for it in fetch version now we can see reload one more time
okay see it's failed to fetch because uh, the url which we are trying to pass it's not available okay so so we need to give you a valid url so that's why we have that url which i like to fetch i given properly then it should come to else statement if the url is valid if the re request dot result is success then it will come to the else statement i'm right so here i'm going to have one string json var something and i'm going to download the request request dot download download handler as a text so the string will be stored as a text after that it will be converted as a json okay so in order to have a json class we are going to create public my data public class my data so this class is going to have the variable which is required for us so let's create an object for this my data data equal to json utility json utility is a predefined class which is going to structure the text to a json okay from json what is the type it's a my data my data and the object of a json okay which we are fetched this is a text format which you are fetching and storing in a data okay next we will create a variable for that uh, so we need user id title completed everything okay just paste this and create a single string user id id title complete completed title id okay let it be empty okay so what is that error it should be double equal to sorry okay so every string has been created which we want to fetch from the json we have user id we have id title completed okay so this is going to fetch from there and store here once it's fetched the next thing is we are going to print that okay for example i'm going to print uh let's have debug log error whether it's fetched or we are on to see first i'll try to fit, get the user id okay user id plus we want to have data dot user id okay since user id is not coming the reason is undefined so you need to have public it should be public then only you can able to fetch okay i'm just converting as a public and trying to call from private now it will come once it's fetched it will be there user id okay let's run the project and we'll see what's happening user id coming as empty we will see that what is that to make sure that name should be correct user caps id okay use the same now it should work is there any error yeah my data don't have user id okay that's it it should come now so once it's fetched it will be there yeah it came see here so we got user id if you want uh, some other thing like title you can so if you want title you can get that
so we can able to fetch both user id and title in a single shot okay so that's it guys uh so this is that uh, this is a uh, way we can able to fetch the json from the server url you can fetch from any server url if you have one server domain or something we can fetch from so thanks for watching if you think this video is very helpful for you please subscribe thank you